Rated M for Mature. Hello and welcome. Hi. This is another episode of Let's Play Together Fallen Earth. Last episode, we came up here to this hill to speak to Harlan Gray, and he's the leader of the Open Book Society. We're sent here by Randy Melbourne. And um, yeah, let's get up and walk over to him. Okay. Please lead the way. I I'm gonna get my guns out. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm gonna get the automatic rifle out. Oh, it's oh, night. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna turn on the flashlight and see what he has to say. Uh, one of the petitioners survived the purge, he says, and we can say more than one or I have came to kill you. So, what you suggest? Um, I wanna kill him. But you wanna okay. kill him? <laughs> I tend to say more than one, you know, Go to see what, it, what comes after that, you know, I'm sure there's still a let's kill him option. Yeah. Okay. He says, we know, we see more than your closed mind would understand. And we can say, at least I don't try to open minds with an axe. And he says, true, some of our counselors get overzealous with our treatment of the unworthy. However, we only follow the true teaching uh, that those who are unworthy or criticize our works are fair game for elimination. Well, we can tell him now that he deserves to die. You may attempt to kill us, however, be aware our strength through boundaries are limitless. Oh, well, bollocks. Can we ready? attack him now? Yes. Please have the honor. Okay, and it says the static you are hurt as the as he attacked you fades as his body goes limp, and we get actually two AP and 200 experience as reward and a nice helmet there. What is it? Hood. Grace hood. Well, it's level 11. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it's, for us, it's just like uh, for fashion reasons now. Yeah. I want to loot his body. Go for it. Even though you killed it. There's probably nothing. No, there's nothing of value on him. Let's put the guns away. Okay. I, I guess we need to helmet. speak back to Randy Melbourne. Yeah, but I want to try the helmet on. Yeah, let's try it on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put the other one back on. Okay. Very Arabic. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like good protection against the sun, but it's night at the moment. So it's like yeah. wearing sunglasses at night. Or indoors. Which way is back? You wanna go back or... Yeah, let's go back to Randy Melbourne. Yeah. Which way is that? I have no idea! <laughs> Okay, here we are, Randy Melbourne, after twisting a little bit around <laughs> in the landscape, finally found him. So yeah, I'll tell him the good news now. And he says, I thought you gave me the best gift you could with giving me Shana back, but you made sure that the Open Cook Society <laughs> ain't got a leader no more. I'm sure they still be ranting and raving like usual, but hopefully they'll lack a bit of bite they had. I made sure Shanna told the authorities what she went through, so they'll be watching out for him too. Ooh. 20 experience and 50 chips for that. Very nice. Achievement. Ooh, mind your business. <laughs> <laughs> that closes the quest with him though? Yes. Yes. And um, that leaves us just one quest we had 
before we came up here to start here, which is you're dying. Talk to Embry LifeNet technician. Yes, that's the and main quest line. Yes. So let's go for it. Let's go for that. Okay, I think that's just like a quarter here through the town. I think there's another underground way because I've seen an entrance to a old canalization and I remember that are usually bars. Bunker bars. Bunker bars. But here we have the live net bunker. And yeah, speak to the local technician. technician. We was here already. Yes. I remember, was. yes. Mark this spot as our home place. Here's Graham. Graham the technician. Ah! Lost you. Okay, there we go. This life is going to be so much better than the last one. Hmm. Need something to do. You're dying, we could start that. Or yep. all in the family. I wanna go for this option. Okay. He says, hello, I'm called Graham. I was told you'd come see me about repairing your DNA one day. It's a good thing you have. You see, your DNA is actually still degrading, so the clock is ticking faster than Elena imagined. So we can ask him about Elena. I'm gonna do that, and he says that's not easy to explain. And we're gonna ask him if she, if she, if she's dead. And he says I have a lot of difficulty with the concept of that. I can tell you that her DNA is intact and her biofunctions are steady. Okay. So we say that is that. What's hard about that? And he says my world revolves around the propagation of propagation of DNA. DNA goes into LifeNet. DNA comes out of LifeNet. When you die, your biofunctions end, but they are quickly reactivated when you respawn in a LifeNet pod. The person that you were is dead, so you can be called dead. But the new person is still you, so you aren't dead. You see how complicated a concept becomes? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we say, but Elena is human. She only has one life. He says, if that is your concept of death, then Elena is dead. But I can promise you that Elena is also not dead, because her biofunctions continue. Okay. And we are asking him, are you saying Elena has been cloned? And he says, yes, Elena Winters wants to preserve the information stored in a memory bank, so she employed the proper protocols to house her DNA and memory data in LifeNet. So we're asking about her clone, and he says, I can't pinpoint her exact location, but a color signal comes from somewhere in the lower plateau at the moment. Her whereabouts are much less important than ensuring the continued longer Longevity of your DNA. So, though, 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 though. <laughs> what do I need to do? I'm asking, and he says, LifeNet recognizes five distinct subsets of, subsets of life: avian, reptilian, mammalian, insectoid, and mutant. While your primary DNA is mammalian, LifeNet uses tiny pieces of code from the other subsets. I require fresh DNA from all the subsets except for the insects. I'll give you a specimen kit. Timing is very important. If the samples are not acquired and returned to me in time... Oh, that sounds like a timed quest here. Yeah, it does. I won't be able to extract what I need. So we're asking, what's my time limit for returning? He says, half an hour as long as I can give you. After that, the DNA will be too degraded for our purpose. Don't worry, all the animals are nearby. We are asking, what do I need to get exactly? He says, you can find mutant and reptilian DNA from the creepers and lizards in the north. The prairie chickens to the southwest and should, should provide avian DNA. And the coyotes to the southeast will yield mammalian DNA. You shouldn't have to go too far afield. We are asking, what's my time limit for returning? And he says half an hour, ba 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 ba. Uh, but oh, it, we it. had that already, so we're saying now we're ready. 
You're Are we ready? Yeah. Set, yeah, I mean, come on, I clicked it already. We got 150 experience. So let's head out to the horses and get this DNA from... Ooh. And we have half an hour. We have half an hour. We need to hurry. I mean, half an hour is, is quite a time. We usually have like 10 minutes. So I guess this is uh, ooh. <laughs> quite a task. Let me see. Um, does it give a marker there? What's that? Ethnic pot and all okay, in the family. Creeper okay. DNA. Yes, we need to go to the creeper DNA. And that's just ahead. Follow me. So here we are at the creepers. <laughs> and yeah. We need to kill them for their DNA. Let's get some samples of those. How do we get the samples? Not that we have to fill up some... Uh, uh, let's have a look. Under mission. What's that? Collector. Okay, let's try killing one and then see what we do. Okay, I'll try to sneak up to one Wait. and... Can I use this on it? Use it. Oh. <laughs> you have to be close to it. Do I have it? Oh. Try killing one and then just collecting it. Like picking up the corpse. Okay. Wonder why we get this item. I'm trying a lot here. <laughs> I'm trying all possibilities. We just get a weak biological chemical. But we got the creeper DNA. Uh, I don't know do actually that? what. I don't. Uh, maybe it was really me standing behind them before they attacked me. I could. Yeah. Use it. I don't know maybe. if it triggered something. <laughs> well, let's go to Bear the with me. One. It's still early in the morning, <laughs> and I'm not so awake yet. Might have missed a message on the screen, but we need to get some reptile DNA. So we should head back to the horses. Where's the next one? I'm just leaving weapon on already. Yeah. Huh? Come on, lazy job. Let me on. I'm gonna try sneaking up to one next one. Okay. Okay, here we are at the lizards. Okay. Start with the horses. And yes. First, trying to be sneaky and then kill him. So click one first. What the flag? Yeah, I got it. I got. That's actually did it. I seen it now. So I was right. And now I have two reptiles on me, trying to fuck me up. not enough for me to just like get DNA samples from one at a time. <laughs> I hope here for some leather. And are you still alive or? Yeah. I'm getting back on my horse. Server so seemed to have gotten a bit better there. No. But still some like picking up stuff. Not as bad anymore. I, I find I've been jumping. Okay. I've had some quite bad lag today. Okay, the next thing we get to have to get is Coyote DNA. Please lead the way. Okay, here we are at the Coyotes and I overheard Karina last time, she wanted to pick a sample as well and she's gonna have a chance now at the Coyotes. I'm gonna protect her back as long. Yay! <laughs> he doesn't know who to attack. <laughs> oh. That noise. <laughs> I don't know, I won't attack anymore. You know I like the leather. Always make good clothes. No more lag. Ooh, 
that one's going for our horses? Well, not really. I don't know. <laughs> I want some leather too. I didn't get any leather. I, I don't want. I points. don't want. Yeah, I get teeth here. I don't want teeth. So chickens. Leap biological chemical. That's nice. I'm just kind of use off that. Okay, we need chickens now. Please lead the way. Okay, we have arrived at the prairie chicken. Luckily, they're not with their brothers, the marine ones. So, um, yeah, please have the example from those. Okay, there we go. Chicken hand is always good for luck. Yeah. Chain on as a necklace. Should let it bleed out before unless your shop gets dirty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back on the horse. And I think that should give us now the quest to ride back to the life net bunker yes. facility. You go ahead, please. Oh, we have four minutes. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we arrived here at the LifeNet pod. See some more experienced players up there with their outfits hanging out. I think they're trying to find some people to PvP. Uh. <laughs> uh? Mm -hmm. PvP. Uh. You say like uh, as if I said creepers. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's this weird thing behind? What the? What? I have no idea. What is that? <laughs> anyway, let's talk to him. I think that's one of the things that attacked us in uh, the dam. The underdweller type thing. Yeah, should I shoot anyway, it? No. Let's <laughs> to Graham. <laughs> okay, let's speak to Graham. I'll put the weapon away though. All in the family. Hello. How's your body? Okay, let's turn that quest in. And he says, Did you get those samples? And we say, Yes, here they I'll are. Be here, that's nice. For you to die. It's good to see you. Okay, Alive, he has a new quest where he says, I've extracted the DNA and integrated it into your code. That won't entirely solve the problem of your limited lifespan, but you but it will keep the code from continuing to degrade. I didn't want to scare you, but you easily could have ended up devolving into something resembling a throwback with the brain power of an earthworm. Nice. Nice. And he says, no, but we're not having to worry about that now. What we need to do next is to find a way to repair the damage the Alec Masters caused when he destroyed the Life Knight core in Hoover Dam. And we're saying Elena said something about the Alpha Clones. And he says, the Alpha Clones were the first successful clones Life Knight created. Only 300 samples were housed in the life in a system. Mostly celebrities, multimillionaires, and politicians. Additional samples were later used as the basis for global tax worker clones. So we could ask him about the worker clones now. He says, perhaps you are unaware, but global tech used clones on a large scale. Mostly they were used for assembly line work, maintenance servers, and other low wage jobs. <laughs> we are asking him, where does my DNA come from? And he says, your DNA is a mixture of up to 64 alpha clone strands. You might think of these DNA patterns as your ancestors, rather like human grandparents. Much like a child, you'll need at least two parent DNA strands to correct the damage. Ugh. Okay, we're asking him now, where is the alpha clone DNA? And he says, many of those samples were housed in facilities that are not accessible. Los Angeles, Denver, Washington, DC, however, two excellent local possibilities have emerged in the rest stop at Trumbull. And we're asking him about the rest stop and he says, the worker clone DNA profile in the rest stop has remained very stable. It leads me to believe that the clones were there were based on a pair of siblings and the DNA may still be housed nearby. And we're asking him then about Trumbull. And he says, Trumbull was a backup power station for LifeNet. I wouldn't have expected one to be there, but I've discovered a number of clones in the system that definitely had a recent Alpha Strand reintegration. All of them came from LifeNet pods under Trumbull. 
we are asking him will will I bring the samples back to you here and he says no I'll give you a password to use the live net ports closest to your destinations activate the code to, pre to prep the system you need to give live net a small sample of your blood when you get an alpha DNA sample return it to the activated live net station and we're asking him where should we start looking and he says yes don't be too hasty though you won't die tomorrow you have enough time to continue to build your skills as your search there's no sense in running headlong into danger with our preparation good luck okay, thank you for be that careful. bro I'd hate to have to clone you again and yes uh, 150 experience for that and he sends us off to the next rest stop thankfully that one isn't yes uh, let's have a look where it is you're dying level 7 <laughs> I fear that's probably a little bit further away. Yeah. There. I think that's even further. Yeah, Linewood and Old Kingman. So I'm gonna untick that for now. Yeah, and we should actually finish the level 5 one. <laughs> yes. So let me take that off first here. No. Okay. Did you. You're dying level 5 that? quest. We'll meet in and he says, oh, a life. visitor, how nice. Seriously. I think we should have done that first. Yes. 100 experience for that, though. And we all, I earned so, earned three APs. Randomly. That's nice. I'm coming closer to level 14. Huh. I'm still two and a half bars away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two bars away. So, yeah, um, quest line is finished with him, I guess. Yep. I think we can pick up more quests, though, outside in... Ambry Crossroads. Yeah. Back to the horses. <laughs> and I think there's just some quests around here. Yeah. Don't know if it's actually necessary to take the horses, but yeah. It's just in case. Anyway. Okay, here's the bibliophiles and collectors, and I think there's two quests just here. Master Archivist Augusta Brown. Exactly. Oh my god, it's a girl! Yes. <laughs> in Embry Crossroads, the Whoa. most testosterone filled uptown in <laughs> the World Grand Canyon. Whoa. Okay, let's see what she says. Okay. Hello, I'm Augusta Brown, one of the curators of the Archive Coalition. What can I do for you? Well, let's ask her about it. What's the Archive Coalition? We're a group of people who preserve information from before the fall. Lots of people are part of the coalition. Scientists, researchers, historians, junk collectors, hobbyists, all sorts of pack rats. In fact, we're allied with the Franklin's Riders, so we try to remain neutral. We'll work with anyone willing to provide the information we need. There are archivists in every barter town, and each curator maintains his or her own collections from the resources available in the area. Hmm. So we're asking probably now, what do you collect? Books! Wonderful books. Oh, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And not just any books either. The books we collect will help future generations rebuild our society. We collect volumes related to important topics and loan them to the best and brightest minds of the province, including people like Pat Haskin, the great medical doctor in Oilville, and Bearer Astai, the light bearer leading of North leader of Northbrook. <laughs> oh yeah. Somewhere we are, sometime we have to go there again. Yes we do. We've yes. missed out Northburg. Yeah. Okay. So she should tell us about the volumes. Individual books are all well and good. But what we really need are multiple titles. We accept three different types of donations. Sets, collections, and the omnibus. A set is comprised of four different books. A collection is comprised of three different sets. And the omnibus is comprised of all three collections. And, of course, we offer what I believe is extremely generous compensation for the effort. Ooh. Hmm. There's well, so much talking in Embry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Speak about the sets. Sets correlate with the trade skills you're probably already familiar with. Armorcraft, ballistics, cooking, geology, medicine, mutagenics, nature, science, and weaponry. 
Alma Finley can tell you exactly what titles you need for any set. Okay. okay. Connections then. Each collection has been designed to accommodate a breadth of related information. The combat collection is comprised of the armor craft, ballistics and weaponry sets. The research collection is comprised of the geology, mutagenics and science sets. The support collection is comprised of the cooking, medicine and nature sets. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Last one is Omnibus though. Oh my. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. The Omnibus is a complete set of tomes. It requires all three collections, combat, research, and support. I'm authorized to reward you very well for a complete omnibus. Hmm. That sounds nice. So where can we find these books? Exactly. Well, that's the hard part. You'll need to scavenge likely looking places. I have one collector who I swear is psychic. He says he can look at a pile of trash and just tell when there's a book there. He says he's looking for a curious debris in is the way to go. Okay. Hmm. I also know a collector who specializes in the rarer books. She says that every once in a great while she'll find one of the volumes on a bookshelf in a town. All I know is that you should be able to find every book I need in Ascendant Ridge, High Point, Kingman View, Mowbray Basin, or the Toro co counties. Hmm. Don't bother to look around at the lower counties like Central Plains or Overlook Ridge. They've been picked pretty clean already. <laughs> And Never then we'll bring the books to her, huh? Heavens no. <laughs> I have enough to do just recruiting people like you to help. Once you've gathered and bound your sets, collections, or the omnibus, you should talk to the other archivists. They'll make sure everything is catalogued correctly and pay you for the books. Hmm. That's informa enough information for yeah. now, I would say. <laughs> yes. Enough talking for me. I will not work with the coalition. That sounds like something good work here. Yeah. So we're going to help them. Yeah. Okay, I hope you'll consider keeping an eye out for the books we need. Thank you for listening to me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Yay! Rewards, collections, plateau books knowledge. That sounds nice. Probably something very rare. And, uh, ooh, that opens up a lot of more quests in there and around this place. <laughs> we could start actually right now. Or do you want to head over and see what we actually can do um, on the other part, which is an opposite here? Yeah. Because I think all this book collecting will take quite some time. And there's a yes. life net operator. Ooh. Life net operator. And I can't really tell if that's a male or a female. Uh, it's but a girl. by the yeah, body shape, I'd yeah. say that's a it's girl. A <laughs> oh, God. Face is quite androgyn. Sorry. Mm. Okay. okay. What does what she say? You hey, clone. See any? Yeah. Seen any outsiders come through here? Well, we are outsiders. Yeah. Anyway, outsiders where? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. We've had reports that they are moving large shipments through the plateau, but there are too many places they can hide. Hmm. I'm assuming you're going to ask for my help. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. We need to find those crates. The outsiders wouldn't be stupid enough to leave that cargo behind, but look for any kind of trace evidence. Start by checking in the open areas around Embry. Okay. okay. Best of luck. Two AP for that, actually. 1,000 experience and 500 chips. Nice. And we will see if a skull helmet. Cool. Item level 10 <laughs> only, though. But uh, this item attunes when worn. Whatever that means. It means it can't be traded, I think. Okay. What it's stuck to your character, basically. Okay, okay, I see. Except. Is it time? New mission, Gord. Brrr. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Let's have a look. No, it's not. It's not. But though, it's red. It's Is red. it red? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. It's a very dangerous then. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. Find the hidden caches and bring back evidence of outsiders' activities. Ooh. <laughs> well, I would uh, suggest though to pick up a little bit more quests before we head out to do that. Yes. Yeah, so back to the horses. Yes. Yes.
It's getting day again, finally. Okay. Down the road, I think I've seen something to the right. Okay, lead the way. The buggy is driving too. The buggy is driving away, uh, leading the way. Okay. Well, I think it's just here on the corner. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait, here. In here? Yeah, maybe on top on the roof. Looks like a diner. I want a breakfast. Oh, in there. Yeah. How do we get in there? Jumping. Well, there must be an entrance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. Where? So, yeah. There is Serena Brook in there. For goodness sake. Yeah. Um. Just jump through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Found the door. Adventurous diner here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's have a quick Serena. talk to her. Oh, God. <sighs> they do like talking here. Yes. Okay. Oh, I think I came up with a good recipe for a new stew, but I'll need some help since I came down with this broken arm. How can you come down with a broken arm? I don't know. <laughs> um, what I need is some meat and eggs. People say this stuff is disgusting, but they weren't doing it right. A nice stew will blend all the flavors together and make you just want to gobble it up. You can usually buy some prairie chicken meat for, from the auction house or something. But I can point you to a big, ugly nest of them where you can get the stuff fresh, if you're inclined. Hmm. Nice, nice. Tell us more. So and she yes. wants us to get tainted meat and a few tainted eggs. This is books as rewards, which we already got. Yep. But 10 chips and 100 experience actually make us go out for that indeed. So yeah, that's also a nice, nice new quest. And I actually already have the 8 tainted meat with me. I'm just missing I out on the eggs. <laughs> Oh, we should have killed more of the marine chickens. Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, you was right. Normal, like civilized an, people. Yeah, I was <laughs> right. Just an opposite that building, there is another quest, and there's Pop Stevens. Pop Stevens? Yeah, Pop Stevens. There used to be a cafe around here called Mount Stevens. It was just, sorry. No, this is Pop Stevens. <laughs> anyway. And yeah, before we speak to him, though. We should end the episode for today and keep that chat for the next episode. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you liked this episode as much as we like recording it, please leave a thumbs up. And um, until next time. Bye bye. Good night. And good fight. <laughs> <laughs>